In this problem, we have a table of ordered pairs. So we have a kid named Hong and his sister, and Hong's age is represented as X, and his sister's age represented as Y. So we have these sets of ordered pairs. When you have ordered pairs like this, you can graph them. They're all ready to be graphed. And what they want us to do here is graph this, and then write an equation that relates the two. Let's do the graphing first. Um, our numbers go up into the teens here, so I think I'm going to make uh, each one of these two, etc. And first we want 8 on the x and 5 on the y. So 6, 8, and 5 would be right in the middle there. And then we want 9 and 6. So 8, 9, and the 6 would be right there. And then we want 10 and 7. So 10 is here, and 7 would be there. And then we want 16 and 13. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Huh, 16, not quite big enough, this graph anyway. And 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So right about there. So what you can notice about this is all of these points line up in a straight line. So this is what we call a linear function. And now we need to write an equation that relates x and y. And we usually start like this, y equals, and then there's going to be an x over here. And we have to do stuff to the x to make it equal the y. So what do we have to do to 8 to make it 5, and 9 to make it 6, and 10 to make it 7? So you can start by looking at uh, whether there's, there's a relationship of adding or subtracting or multiplying and dividing. It looks to me like all you have to do is subtract 3 every time, and that works. So all you need to do to get y is just take x and subtract 3 from it. So there would be our equation. So that is how to graph ordered pairs from a table of x and y values and then uh, determine an equation from it.